Hi, welcome to Community Connect. My name is Dennis Threadigal. Here I have with me Jody Hiralko, Executive Director of the Little Red House. Thanks. Thank you, Dennis. Thanks for being here today. It's great to be here. Thanks for including me. You're welcome. So we're just going to talk a little bit about the Little Red House and um, kind of what it is and um, the people that you serve there. Great. Well, the Little Red House is a nonprofit organization located in the village of Spring Lake, but serving the um, members of and community members of Ottawa County. And um, we're there to serve the, our most vulnerable citizens, the, the aging, frail, elderly. And um, we were established in the year 2000 by a group of people that could see into the future and understand that people are living longer and that now we are presented with this dilemma with people aging. Where are they going to be and where can they be to thrive and live in a safe environment during the day? Sure. So the, the beauty of this is they're not going off to a facility where they're being assisted, but they can live at home and then during the day when the caregivers need a break or they need to run errands or whatever they need to do, that their loved ones are being taken care of. Correct. We um, fill a niche in the community um, that when people get to the point where they can't or should not be left home alone, mm -hmm. but they're really not ready to go into a skilled nursing facility, there's that little area slice on the health care continuum uh, of safety for an elderly adult. And we provide a safe haven for many who require skilled care, um, activities during the day, a warm, balanced meal. If they require bathing or personal grooming, we offer that. And we also offer transportation, if needed or required, door to door to mm -hmm. the Little Red House and back to their homes um, on a daily basis. So it's almost a full service care that's given. Yes, it's a full service adult daycare and really a premier adult daycare. Sure. Yeah, and I've been with you since kind of the very beginning producing some videos, so I know a little bit about the facility and what you guys offer. But um, for those that don't know, tell us a little bit about what the day looks like for a participant. Um, we're open from about uh, 7 o'clock in the morning till about 6 o'clock p.m. or as needed if there's special um, circumstances we extend our times um, and we our day is full people are active they have a a need they have a um, place to be and they are very very involved it's not a daycare where you think someone sits in a chair all day and watches a video in fact we don't even show videos mm -hmm. Um, they are active uh, activities directed by an activities director, um, a warm meal, conversation, and really um, things that help people relate to their past. Because they're doing a lot of motor skills with um, kind of the exercises that they do, but also cognitive working on right. that as well. We really strengthen the cognitive ability of every adult and also provide exercise every day for everybody. And it's really a wonderful safe haven for so many. What we're seeing today is our community um, families are seeing that they're part of the sandwich gener generation. And what we mean by that is that many families are supporting both children and now they have an aging loved one, either living with them or living nearby. So the requirements for families to thrive become very, very hectic during the day. They want to go to an after school event of their child, but they're unable to because they're also taking care of an aging parent. Sure. So we are able to lift that burden off of many and provide the care necessary during the day so that families can continue to work, go to school mm -hmm. activities, and by the time their loved one is returned home to them in the evening, They've had a warm meal, they have been um, bathed, their, all their needs have been tended to, and the family members can move on with their evening, knowing they can, their loved one can return to the Little Red House the next day for the same sort of excellent care. Sure, so it's not just for the participant, it's for the caregiver as well, that it, they can just have that rest that they need Right, you know, and in and fact, know that safe. yes, and Dennis, in fact, we have a caregiver support group every week, and you don't have to have a loved one at the mm -hmm. Little Red House to um, participate in that. It's through a grant provided by Senior Resources of West Michigan. We have a social worker that comes, and many caregivers from the area will come to the Little Red House on Thursday morning just to share stories 
um, share, get, uh, unload a little bit and lift a little bit of the burden they're feeling and feel that support sure. of other community members experiencing the mm -hmm. same um, thing. Good. Um, so tell me a little bit about the veterans. Um, there are a lot of veteran, veterans there and the assistance that they receive. Yes, we're supported by the Veterans Administration. So area veterans come to the Little Red House um, and their VA benefits will pay for them to be there. And uh, it is a wonderful place for these people that serve their country, uh, have paid their taxes, mm -hmm. went to war, and now they need a safe haven where they can live with dignity, di live with respect. And the, the Veteran Administration supports us in that endeavor. That's perfect, and that's something that they need. It is. So t tell me a story about um, how this has really benefited some of the people that have been there. Uh, many people will tell you that they've been able to live in their homes longer. You know, many of these aging adults, we have a, people are living well into their 90s, and their desire is to age in place in their own homes. Mm -hmm. And we're providing everybody or most people that come to the lower house the ability to do that because sure. they can be someplace during the day, be socially active, have a purpose during the day. And they look forward to and it. And they look forward to yes. it. They, they, sh they form friendships. Mm -hmm. It's an important place. It's their club. And before they return home, they're, with that assistance during the week and during the daytime hours, they're able to return to their own homes rather than be placed right away in a skilled nursing facility. That's great. Good. So it's just a really important thing that you guys offer, and we appreciate it. Well, we appreciate this wonderful community. You know, we've been able to grow our organization. We've tripled the size in the last few years through the, through the support of this community because they believe that, and everybody has told me, that they truly, truly believe in this community, that the measure of any community is how we protect and take care of our most vulnerable citizens, and this community knows how to do that, and we are appreciative. Very good. We're just about out of time, but before we go, how can people either come check out the facility or get more information, or if they want to support it, how can they reach you? We have a website, um, and you can visit the littleredhouse.org, or you can call us at 616-846-5720. You can donate online, and we have a part of our website. You can um, click on a link right to our video that shows our full capabilities and everything's included right there, and it's very comprehensive. Great. Well, thanks for being on the show today. I, I appreciate, appreciate it. it. Yeah. It's so good to see you, Dennis. It's good thanks to see you. For you. Having me. Yeah. Thanks for watching Community Connect. We'll see you next time. Rui Homes has been connecting people to their perfect home since 2003. Whether it's your first home, family is starting to grow, or time for retirement, Dave and Stacy's expertise find the home for you and your family. Dave Rui Homes. Dreaming of buying a home? Your local Lakeshore lending team, Envoy Mortgage, is ready to assist you. Call Casey or William at 616-303-0728. Love your home, love your loan.